This is a Razorback Game Recap, brought to you by Drop the Gloves Productions. On Thursday night, the Razorbacks D1 squad hosts a WCHL rival Arizona State in the first ever matchup between the two. The Sun Devils came into the game with a 6-1 record, while the Hogs were looking to end the losing streak that had them at a 3-14 mark. Oliver Eklund took the ice for the Hogs, while ASU sent out Lucas Felbel, and both men would play well early. Despite the Sun Devils being the more potent offense, it was Arkansas with the early scoring chance. Delisle checking on that one hard, kept into the blue line by Gratisar. Gratisar, high slot, shot, rebound, loose in front. Robinson can't poke it home, puck cleared to the corner. ASU, however, would be the first team to get on the board. At the 17:38 mark of the first, Michael Cummings scored a power play goal on a one-time feed from Preston Ames. Ryan Ostertag was given the second assist on the goal. The Sun Devils nearly extended their lead near the end of the period, but Eklund showed he came ready to play. Taken by Ostertag. Ostertag, shot, save, rebound, loose in front, another save by Eklund. The Hawks came out in the second period and put the pressure on ASU early. Logging a good amount of offensive zone time, they were able to come away with a few scoring chances, including this one. Arkansas trying to pick it out in the offensive zone. Finally does it, Young. Young, centering pass, shot, misses the net high, does Pekarski, and puck into the corner, picked up by Hill. Just minutes later, the Razorback power play was able to even the game at one. Stovall wins this one back to the point. Carries it in front. Shot by Gratisar. Score! Luke Gratisar on the one-timer from the point. On the feed from Jesse Foskey, and the Hawks tie this game. The goal looked identical to ASU's power play goal as Luke Gratisar's one-timer beat Felbel five-hole. Jesse Foskey was given the assist on the play. The game wouldn't stay tied for long as ASU's impressive puck movement began to take over. 11.35 into the period, the Sun Devils once again got on the board as Andrew Aziz was able to beat Eklund on assists from Nick Blumenfield and Austin Sneddon. The lead would be stretched to 3-1 as Ryan Ostertag scored a late period goal on a pass from Conlin Noonan. The third period started out like the latter half of the second with ASU controlling the time of possession. The pressure they put on Eklund ultimately resulted in another Sun Devils goal. This time, Austin Ehrlich put one into the net on a helper from Wilson Housley. The Hogs, never one to give up, cut the lead to two with 8.02 remaining in the game on a goal from Alex DeGuire. Centering pass, broken up, puck loose in front. DeGuire takes a shot, score! Arkansas gets on the board once again as DeGuire found the loose puck out in front and fired that one into the net. Arkansas cuts the lead to two. Landon Howes assisted on the Hogs' final goal. ASU would put one more up on the board and put the game out of reach for good with 1.53 left in the game as Wilson Housley became the fifth Sun Devils player to score on the night. The balanced attack from ASU and their ability to move the puck helped them get the win. Arkansas will attempt to bounce back this weekend against the Arizona Wildcats with a 7.30 Friday game and a noon start on Saturday.